Hello and welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Sebbing. It's an exciting day. We just got Tula Pink's new line, Parisville, in the shop and it is gorgeous. I love it. It is the smallest line I've ever seen Tula make. And so it's very affordable. You can absolutely get either a fat quarter bundle or even whole yard bundles, which is what I have to show you today. And she just came out with the Tula Tiny Prints. We still have a little bit of it left. So if you love this and you wanna make it into a whole quilt, make sure you pick up either a strip roll or a five or 10 inch charm pack. And that way you can supplement this and you can see everything just coordinates beautifully. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this and we're gonna do it on a big scale because Tula does it big. All right, so a couple years ago we had Pinkerville, big hit. This one is Parisville. And we have this lovely little floor and leaf happening here. Look at how large this is. This repeat is almost the entire width of my desk or length of my desk. It is, it's huge. And I love it when she creates the design with little dots. It just, it looks pixelated, but in a more rounded way. And there almost are like hexagonal shapes in here too, even though it's dots, it's a very like trick on the eye situation, but it just looks absolutely stunning. And we're gonna see these fabrics and colors throughout the rest of the collection. All right, so here we have the Tula Rainbow in fans. I'm gonna turn this one sideways too so you can see it running. This is just really, really fun. I think this is really gorgeous. This is the width of fabric here. So it's going up and down across the length of the fabric. This would make really fun binding, borders, or just using big in your quilt. Next up, we have this lovely floral print, which is in a lovely circle. And as Tula does best, there are images hidden inside. So when we take a closer look, it's not just this lovely floral medallion. We have tiny little mice running around in there going through the leaves and the little bush. So I love it when she creates an image within an image. For this one, we have some old timey ships that are going through the waves. It looks like a very old design with just line work, but they're all in these little teardrop shapes. And so it's like the drop of water holds the ship and it's really cool. And then we have the little floor up here. It just very French, I love it. Here we have another very large scale repeat. This would be really good on maybe a bag or just to use big in your quilt or maybe for a quilt back. We have the lovely floral going around, but inside of it, we have a masked lady with an elaborate wig that has a ship that we just saw as part of the wig. So very Marie Antoinette, she's masked, she's going to masquerade ball. But also if you're a Bridgerton fan, this reminds me of the crazy wigs that the queen is always wearing. So I like it and I love the colors. It's got a little bit of everything in there. And because she's got to hide everything in here, this isn't just a hatched background. There's tiny little bees in every single one of these pieces that come together. It's really super cute. And we have faces in the flowers, little eyes and nose poking out at you. She's just always a little bit more to find when you look a little closer at Tula fabric. I love prints like this too. They make great little accents. I used to do a lot of dresses out of Tula fabric when my daughter was three. And these make lovely little pipings or bindings or just lovely little, little, little bits. And they have all the colors and they look so fun, especially used in, in small detail. So I love this, it's super fun. This one just has that nice little ribbon candy design undulating and fitting within each other with that green background and then a teal and a purple alternating. It's really fun. This could also make a really fun binding. And we're gonna end with a two color floral. It's got that green background and kind of a pink for the color of the flowers that are kind of going through. It may actually be like an unbleached, but it really does look pink with the way that it is fitting in with that green background. All right, so that is Parisville from Tula Pink. If you get the fat quarter bundle, some of these bigger repeats, like the lady with the big head dress and wig and the flower here, you might not get the full repeat depending on where it cuts, because we, we put it through a cutting machine and, and it goes from there. 
So if you want to make sure you get the full repeat, I would suggest going with the yard bundle. There's only eight fabrics in this entire collection, so it makes it much more affordable to go for the yard bundle. And then you have more to play with when you want to use some of these pieces here in a big way. And other ones, they definitely would work with other Tula collections because all Tula kind of goes with all Tula. Now, if you need some coordinates to go with this, because this is all very much like one line and it's not as filled out, as some of the other collections where you have like 20 plus fabrics in one line, you can check out Tula's Tiny Prints. So these tiny coordinates, we have a strip roll left as well as five and 10 inch charm packs. And it has a bunch of dots and lines that coordinate with all of these fabrics. So this is a great way to fill it out, give the eye a place to rest. So that way we can focus in on the flower and the crazy lady with the big wig that's a ship. And this can definitely work with all that. Now, every time I call it a five and 10 inch charm pack and a two and a half inch strip roll, everyone's like, you made a mistake. Those are layer cakes and jelly rolls. Technically, they are only a layer cake and a jelly roll if Moda manufactures them. They have trademarked those terms, so none of the other fabric manufacturers are allowed to call their 10 inch charm packs layer cakes or their two and a half inch strip rolls, jelly rolls. Uh, I know we all call them that out in the sewing world because that has just been synonymous with what it is, but I did not make a mistake. They are five and 10 inch charm packs and it's a two and a half inch strip roll and we have a few of them left. We've had them for a bit, so there's not a big selection, but it definitely works great with everything that we have here. We also still have some Tula bag kits for Tula crossbody. My daughter has been using hers all summer and it works perfect for her because we're able to shorten that strap to work for a little one, but it also is long enough to work for an adult size as well. So we have a few of those. You can grab them over at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. So check out all the goodies, have some fun, and until next time, happy quilting. <laughs>